How's it going? This is Lindsay Bushman with Pilates On Demand and we are in beautiful Malibu today at El Matador State Beach Park and we are going to film just a short upper body stretch class basically. So I would say this is really good for someone who just did an upper body workout, push-ups, dumbbells, etc. or someone who's sitting at their desk all day and really slumped. This will help open you up good for the posture. Okay, so we're gonna begin by sitting up nice and tall. Draw your abs in, lift up through your mid back. Interlace your fingers and then push your palms forward and pull your chest back. So you're rounding out your spine and you're thinking of separating the sides of your back away from each other. Getting a stretch between those shoulder blades. And then we're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall, interlace your fingers behind your back, draw your elbows and shoulder blades together and then lift your chest up. And we'll do that again. So interlace the fingers in front of you, press your hands forward, round out your back, create a C curve through the spine. And then inhale, sit up tall, interlace the fingers behind your back, open your chest. One more each way. Exhale, round, push forward. Inhale, arch, stretch back. Good, and then release. So sitting up nice and tall, we'll interlace those fingers in front of us again. Press the arms up, drop the shoulders down, and then side bend up and over to the right, making sure that left hip stays on the floor. And then side bend up and over to the left. Make sure that right hip stays down on the mat. Chin off the chest, nice long spine. Good, side to side one more time. Up and over to the right. Shoulders down. And up and over to the left. And then back to center. Take your right arm across your chest. Pull it in and drop your shoulder down. I want you to make sure your elbow is straight. So if you're doing something like this, make sure you're straightening your arm and then pulling it in from there. And then switch straight left arm across that body and pull it in. Good, and then release. Right hand to the side of you, fingers point out to the right. You're gonna soften that right elbow and stretch the left arm overhead. Straight left arm, palm to the floor and pull your shoulder into your back. If you're more flexible, you can drop down onto that forearm. Just kind of depends. If you're dropping down to your forearm and your butt is lifting up a lot, I want you to come back up off of that elbow. Roll it up and over to the left. Left hand down, fingers point out. Soften that elbow and stretch that top arm up and over. And you're thinking of one long line with the spine as if you're in between two panes of glass. I lean into it any amount. Good, and then stretching it up. The hands, something we never stretch. Let's get into that. So right palm out, fingers down. Pull those fingers in towards you and press through the heel of the hand. And so we're getting a stretch through the wrist and through that forearm. Now just pull each finger in individually. This one's kind of funny, but you'll really feel tension wherever you, every muscle. Good. Flip that palm to you, pull your hand in, straighten through the wrist, sit up nice and tall. And now we're just going to switch it over to the left. So left palm out, fingers point down, draw your fingers in and reach through the palm of the hand. Okay, each finger individually, pull it into you. I really feel my pointer finger when I pull my pointer finger in. It's like, whoo, I wonder what, why that gets so stiff. Get the thumb. And then flip it around, palm to you, fingers point down, pull the top of the hand in and reach through that wrist. Good, and then release. Okay, take your arms out to a T. We're gonna do eagle arms. So you'll cross your right arm all the way over the left, bend the elbows, and then bring the hands together. If you're not able to bring the hands together, you could grab your thumb. But you wanna try to lift your elbows up to shoulder height, drop your shoulders down, and squeeze your arms into each other. Then round your spine, pull your belly in and back. Think of separate your shoulder blades away from each other. And then inhale, sit tall, stretch the arms out to a T. We'll do the other arm on top. Cross the left arm over, bend the elbows, palms together. Squeeze those arms into each other. Set the shoulders down, elbows are at shoulder height. And then you're gonna round, pull the waist back. Good, 
and then release, stretch the arms out, flex your palms as if you're pushing your hands into maybe a wall, but imagine you're pressing into something, so keep this active, and then take your right ear to your right shoulder, push more through that left hand. You'll feel this all along that left side. Okay, take your right arm overhead to the left side and gently pull down. And then turn your head to the floor towards that right armpit and just gently pull your chin into your chest from here. Good, and then release arms to a T. Left ear, left shoulder, reach through that right palm. And then take your left arm overhead to the right side and gently pull down, adding a little bit of pressure here. Woo, feeling that for sure. Good. Eyes to the floor, look down towards that left armpit. Good, and release. Okay, so let's take that right arm straight up, elbow pointing forward, palm in, and then bend the elbow. Place your hand on your back, or maybe you're even getting it all the way over towards that right shoulder. Then you're gonna grab your elbow with the opposite hand and bring the arm behind the head. Long neck, and then tighten your core muscles, pull your ribs in, and then looking over to the right, we're gonna side bend to the left. Lean your chest back. Woo, big opener for the lats and the triceps here. Good, and then release. Let's take it on the other side. Left arm up, bend the elbow, bring your hand to your back. Really try to bend it. So instead of the hand being all the way over here, bring it close to that left shoulder. Right hand onto your elbow. Drop the inner shoulders down, lift up tall, and then turn your head to the left and side bend to the right. This is a favorite of mine, I feel like Lats get so tight. It's because they like to do push-ups and planks. I think that gets them really tight here. Good, and then release. Okay, interlace those hands. Place your hands behind your head. Sink your shoulders, open your elbows, and then do a little bit of a back bend. So make sure it's not from your low back, but rather your chest. So I'm lifting up really tall through the side of my body reaching my chest up towards the ceiling, pulling the muscles of my back together. Good, come back to neutral, head over hips, side bend right, reach the left elbow up, plug the left shoulder in, and look up. Good, back through center, side bend over to the left, open those elbows, look up towards the right elbow, and pull the right shoulder blade down the back. Create as much distance between that right hip and that right elbow, getting a big side body stretch here. And then come back to center, elbows go narrow, chin comes into the chest. We're just gonna rock your head out right and left, loosening that up. Good, let the weight of the hands intensify that stretch. Good, and then release the hands. Okay, we're gonna do internal rotation of the shoulder. So we'll kind of layer this. I'll give the easiest version and then you can pick if you wanna make it a little bit more intense of a stretch. So the arms come behind the back. You're gonna make fists with your hands. Push your fists into each other behind your back and then walk them up your back. Open your chest up, so widen that collarbone. Sit nice and tall. Now if this one's feeling pretty easy, you're gonna do palms together. So you'll place the palms together, fingers point down, chest is open. If your palms are completely touching and this one feels easy, you're gonna turn your fingers up and walk them up your back. And then open your shoulders. So make sure if you pick the more intense one, you're not rounding into it. So open up through that chest. Waves are coming in. Good, and then slide the hands out and shake it off. Thank you guys for joining me for just a nice, easy upper body stretch. This should feel really good after a long day of sitting on the computer or the couch or maybe post-workout after that upper body day. Again, my name is Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.